What a beautiful day out. It's a nice sunny sky with a little bit of clouds. A beautiful landscape. I just love it here. Well, what's that? I need to go check this out. Whoa, what is that? Yeah. Hey guys, what is up? I'm TTC from Tonic Gaming, and today I'm here with another mod review. This mod being the Fossils and Archaeology mod. Basically what this mod does is it allows you to incubate your own dinosaurs. Yes guys, you get to incubate your own fucking dinosaurs. This, uh, it's so cool. <coughs> My... <coughs> <coughs> this mod is really freaking awesome, and I really want to show you guys this mod because you get to incubate your own dinosaurs and get your own pet dinosaurs, and it's just ah. you get to have your own like trees and like palm, old palm trees from the past. All right, so today, guys, what I'm going to be covering on this mod is basically how to incubate your own fossils, how to get your own fossils, and basically how to tame your own dinosaur for it to be your pet. And guys, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. It supports me and the team a lot. And yeah, let's get right into this. All right, guys. So first, what we have here, we have the analyzer. So I'm just going to get some analyzers here. And the way you craft it is you're going to take two iron ingots, a relic scrap, and a biofossil, which you can find in fossils that you guys saw in the very beginning of this episode. And... We're gonna go up here to my culture vats. Is basically what the culture vat is, is this is where you incubate your di dinosaurs to get your own eggs. So it requires biofossils or milk for fuel. And the way you make it, the way you make a culture vat, one cactus green, four glass, a water bucket, and three iron ingots. And basically that's how you make a culture vat. And for it to run, you're gonna need biofossils, or milk or anything like that. All right, guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go mine those fossils with my very nifty diamond pickaxe. So I'm gonna show you guys right down here. These are the fossils. Now, you can find these fossils. They're very, very, very common in caves, anything like that, or just the side of a cliff. So I'm just gonna do this, and I got digging for bones. And basically what, you, what this is gonna be doing is you're just gonna be mining all of this stuff and you're just gonna get a bunch of things f to like analyze in your analyzer so i'm just gonna be mining all of this i'm almost done all right so we got four biofossils four relic scraps five plant fossils and eight bones so now guys i'm going to interpret these things inside of an analyzer and basically i'm just gonna put i'm just gonna put one of these things in there and you'll see that it's working so I'm just going to put all of these in my analyzers, and I will see you guys when they are finished analyzing, for the most part, my things that I've gotten. Alright guys, so my analyzers have finished, and the useless things that I've gotten was 6 sand, 6 gravel, and 6 bone meal. But, the good things that I've gotten, the only two good things that I've gotten, are these fossilized Benet-net, benet to tail seeds, and this Palerafe sapling, and basically, that's pretty much all I've gotten that's been useful. So I'm going to go up to my culture vats and I'm going to put this petrified Palerafa sapling in the culture vat. And as you guys can see, the culture vat is on now and it is going to be turning this Palerafa sapling into a normal sapling, not like just an oak tree sapling or anything like that, that I can actually plant into the ground and have my own ancient tree. And I'm also going to put the fossilized bennet to tail seeds inside the other culture vat as well. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you how to tame your own dinosaur. Now, while we're waiting for the culture vats on my top level floor, you can see them up there, to get, I guess, my own, like, trees and shit, I'm gonna show you guys how to tame your own dinosaur. So, basically, I have this Allosaurus egg, and the Allosaurus is my favorite dinosaur in this mod, so I decided why not do it on an Allosaurus. So I'm just going to spawn this Allosaurus, and here he is, a very, very cute dinosaur, and he is hostile if you try to attack him, but if you don't try to attack him, he's just a cute little dinosaur, isn't that right? He's so adorable. Alright guys, so to be able to tame a meat-eating dinosaur, or basically a carnivore, is you are going to need to have a scarab gem, and you can find... Warning, cult- oh no, this is definitely not good. This is not good, guys. Cultivating has failed. 
Wow. So we got our three iron, and we also got our biofossil and our seeds back, but we got a failure plant. Right in the middle as I'm trying to explain how to tame this guy over here, we get a fucking failure plant. Now basically guys, this a failure plant happens when you're trying to cultivate, or not exactly, yeah, a cultivate a plant. You're just gonna have this failure plant here and it's just the most useless thing in the world. Oh well. But guys, I'm gonna, again, teach you how to tame this guy over here. So to tame this Allosaurus right here, he's just so cute. To tame him, you're gonna need a Scarab Gem. You're gonna, and you're gonna need a diamond sword and some pretty good armor. And so guys, I'm also gonna show you, you're also gonna need a dino, Dinopedia. Well, you don't exactly need one, but you're gonna right click on the Allosaurus and make sure his age is 10 because that is the, or her age, because it's a female. You're gonna need to make sure that her age is 10 or its age is 10 days old. That is when you can actually tame them. You can't tame them before age 10. But that's fine because his age, her age is 10. So I'm going to get me some diamond armor because I don't want to die. Just going to put these in there, just like so. All right. So guys, what we're going to do is we're, we are actually going to attack this dinosaur until he's down to, I believe, 7 health. <laughs> Once he's finished, like, moving. All right, so we're just going to attack him. And apparently he's not going to attack me. Alright, he's not going to attack me, but we need to get his health down. Maybe he is trying to attack me, and he just can't reach me, I don't know. But, we're just, we just need to get his health down enough so that he goes into a resting position like this. And then we're going to right-click this Scarab Gem, and then he's going to now be our tamed dinosaur. And as you guys can see, the owner is TDC Gaming, and you can control them with a bone. So, right now his order is to stay. And now his order is to follow, so now we're, he's just going to be following us right here, like a good little dinosaur. And he also has a mode where he can just wander around, just randomly. But, so, just for right now, I'm going to make his put order be stay. Oh, just look at him, he's so cute. He's con conversating with a chicken. Alright guys, so, now, before I end this mod review, I am simply going to go up here to my other culture vat, the one that hasn't been destroyed to make that failure plant right there. We are going to go check on the Palafarathus sapling. And as you guys can see, we did get the Palafarathus sapling. It did not fail, thank God. I would not like to have multiple failure plants. All right, so now guys, these just work like a normal sapling. You're just gonna right click to place them on the ground and there we go. And we're just going to make some bone meal out of these bones that I've gotten. And we're just going to put the bone meal to this, and voila! We have our own, like, tree. It's so cool. And then what you guys can do next is you can destroy the wood with an axe and get the, and just get, keep, you guys can just keep getting more saplings and more saplings, and it's super, super helpful. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this mod review. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment what mod you guys want me to review next. I am TDC from Tonic Gaming, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh,